Hey guys, Chi Chi here. Welcome back to my channel. So I picked up some some Juvia's Place lip glosses, and I was like, you know what? Let's test it out here. So I picked up five different shades. I think these are two different collections based on the packaging. I don't think I've ever tried Juvia's Place on this channel, but hey, today is the day, right? <laughs> But this is what the packaging is looking like. This one is, I guess, their newer collection, the Brown Sugar, I guess, and, or is that the name? Wait, <laughs> this is their bronze collection, I think, and this one is just their standard lip gloss collection. Girl, you, you got Google, you can look all that up. It actually comes kind of shrink wrap, so that's good. I love a little hygienic moment. I know people don't, really love all the plastic but hey at least I know no one's you know dipped into my stuff let's look at this doe foot Ooh, nice big doe foot applicator we, we love a good doe foot this shade is bronze sugar so let's just put it on it smells very nice very familiar smell though it just hit me I had it and then I let it left. Even though it's not sticky, I feel like it's gathering a little bit towards my corners. It might be because I put too much on. And you know I ain't got the real estate lip lies. <laughs> it's a little bit lighter than what I would use, but it's not terrible. I'm sure if I pair this with one of their lip liners, which I do have, this is brownie. I believe this is the bronze collection as well. Don't quote me on that. This was also shrink wrap. I, I appreciate it, but it does get a little bit annoying. But we're, we're just gonna pull that back. Girl, we got a video to film. But let's see how it looks with a little lip liner. It softened it up a little bit. Something I can vibe with a little bit more. My application is a little all over the place, but I do like the color of this. I wanna see it without, you know, putting on gloss first because typically I line then gloss but she's cute I do like it mm, I wouldn't have really picked this color but I don't know something it, it was calling me and I answered next we have bronze chestnut this one is actually a mini it didn't come shrink wrap I'm okay with that easier to get into but I really do dig this color it's a chestnut brown Ooh, she gonna be a dark gloss whoa she is everywhere. It's not super glossy like vinyl or anything like that. This color with this applicator, you definitely have to be a, li a little patient with this one. Make sure you gotta put it on like slowly because yeah, this could've went all the way left. Luckily, I just kind of adjusted and didn't go ham on my lips. But it does look like it's drying down almost to a matte. Is it supposed to be matte? Is this a liquid lipstick? Hold on. Oh, it is a liquid lipstick. My bad, y'all. It's a liquid lipstick. Oops. Got a little something on my teeth. Okay. I didn't know. This is a liquid lipstick. I haven't purchased a liquid lipstick all year. I think this is my first time, but I'm gonna get into it though. Y'all know I love brown. This is a very, very dark brown. It's very comfortable. I wasn't expecting it to be like dry, dry, but okay. She's she's got a little life to it. I'm, I'm. You can still see a little bit of my lip, but because I thought this was a gloss, um, I didn't put as much on. But this is a pretty shade. This was a nice little happy accident on my Bob Ross. I really do like this shade. It's nice and deep. I do feel like when, as you close your lips together, it does kind of stick together, but it's not sticky, you know? But it doesn't feel crumbly either. I'm just saying. I might have to check out their liquid lipsticks because I'm really liking that. And you know liquid lipsticks kind of took a nosedive in the last couple of years, but okay, I really like it. Okay, going forward, the rest of these are lip glosses. <laughs> Y'all, I really did. 
I really didn't know. My bad. I didn't read. Reading is fundamental. Alright, so this next shade is Caramel Rose. It's kind of one of those cute little brown shades. I'm hoping at least. But, eh. Take out. Oh, yeah. Something about this doe foot, it picks up a lot of product. Like, it's getting it on my tongue. It's almost got like a reservoir tip, like right in the center where it's holding a lot of product. So I gotta make sure that I kind of wipe it off. This color. She's speaking to me. She's speaking. That is the perfect amount of brown with a hint of rose. Caramel rose is correct with this. <gasps> Look at that. Yes, absolutely. This color is gorgeous it has a very familiar smell to me these lip glosses I can't think of what it smells like it's right in my memory bank like I've smelt it before and it smells so good it's not like a vanilla scent which is a nice departure because a lot of people use either orange or vanilla this smells like something else I don't know what it is well, I'm gonna find out though but when I do I'll let you know but this color she might be an everyday favorite now. Next up, we got Sis. Come on, Sis. This looks a little bit more on the rosier side than Caramel Rose. You can see, I'll put all of these on the back of my hand, but Sis looks a little bit more rosy. So, let's see. It's kind of browning too. Let me take off the excess. There, yeah, if you got tiny lips, take off the excess okay does it look a little more peachy on my lips hmm. not like hella peachy but it's got a, a some sort of orange in here let me pull up their website let's see what they talk damn i'm good peachy beige brown that's how they describe this yeah it is it's kind of slightly like my lip color but a little bit more pizzazz to it this is also really cute very daytime approach i like this shade a whole lot this is very nice where caramel rose had a little bit more brown to it actually while i have it up <laughs> yeah caramel rose is a warm tone soft brown so this is definitely more brown this one is a peachy brown but not so peachy where it clashes with my skin tone or anything. That's cute. Mm, I really like this. She, she's, she's doing it for me. This is the shade I've been looking for. It's not super rosy, it's not super peach. It's just one of those really good shades. I'm, I'm here for it. It's very soft and Still, it's not sticky. I'm really feeling the vibe of these lip glosses right now. And y'all know I'm not a big lip gloss girl. This shade is a winner. These two right now, mm, so far, Juvia, you are stepping up to the plate. So I bought Barely There with the intention of lining my lips. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go in with Brownie. At least y'all can see how this looks naturally on my lips. This isn't the first time I've used their lip liners. I think this is the only product you know what? I did use one of their products. I tried out their foundation when it first dropped and I scrapped the video and I tried like four shades, my bad. I didn't really care for the foundation and I think that's what, why I didn't, yeah. That's why I didn't use it. I, oh, I, I have like two eyeshadow palettes. What am I talking about? Girl, stick to the lip gloss. <laughs> Let me stick to what I know. Yeah, this really packs on a ton of gloss let me show you wow that is a ton of gloss and like y'all don't even really see it it's in there all right oh she pink pink hold on see when when something comes at you and attacks you you just gotta step back for a second okay if you guys know what smell this is please let me know <laughs> Cause it's, it's getting to me, it's like a candy. I don't know what it is, but she's cute. She's cute, I like this. Definitely more toned down with the lip liner. This is probably how I would pair this. 
I would probably like a lip liner a little bit lighter than this. Brownie is a little smidge, just a little smidge too dark. But if I rub it all together, see, that looks good. <laughs> That looks really pretty. Yeah, this is one of those shades, because it's so light, you definitely need to pair this with a lip liner. If you don't put a lip liner on, girl, it's gonna be a little bit of a trouble. But, again, very comfortable, not sticky, great smell, at least something aesthetically pleasing for me, for my nostrils, but yeah, if you're trying to do like an ombre lip or just have a really nice liner and throw this gloss on but still have that appearance of a lighter lip, this is your girl. And she's very, very, very nice. Yeah, with a lip liner, this is fire. You know I had to put Caramel Rose back on because that one was my favorite. All of these are slamming. But... I do want to show you guys the variation of the colors, all five. So at the top we got bronze sugar. Then we have the liquid lipstick in bronze chestnut. Then caramel rose is up in the middle. Sis is in that fourth spot right there. And rounding out the top is barely there. So they are very much so true to color and they look great. These are really nice, natural, neutral colors for us brown girls because, you know, sometimes even like these pinks, they look a little too white and it, you know, gives the appearance that you have the other nine to five. But because they, they are a little bit more pigmented and have that brown within it, it looks really nice on our skin. Like, just look at this variation though. It is so nice. Oh my gosh. I definitely need to try out their liquid lipsticks because that brown was a very unexpected uh, purchase. Like, I thought, I literally thought it was a brown gloss. And the fact that it's a liquid lipstick, I'm like, hello, fall. Aren't you calling early? I love the fact that they're not like overly rosy or pink because that's not our undertones. We're yellows, we're neutral goldens, we're reds. So to have pinks and it actually look good and work out, I'm just like, okay, Juvia, I need to check y'all out a little bit more, especially for your lip products. Now I'm like, what do the bullet lipsticks look like? Cause now you, you've piqued my interest and I'm all the way here for it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other ones and I will catch you in the next one. Stay comfy guys, bye.